what is up guys welcome back to another adventure so today i'm gonna be showing you something a little different it's not an explore today but it's simply to show you guys what memphis looks like as you can see i am standing right here just about 20 minutes outside of memphis right here at the interstate on i-40 and you can see i mean it is absolutely dead 20 minutes east of memphis on i-40 one of the main arteries that serves this country going back and forth from the east coast to the west coast i mean all the way anyway guys so i'm going to kind of just take you around memphis and show you just how locked down it is now i will tell you this that i actually was kind of surprised at the fact that you know there were more people out down down towards downtown area it's been like that all week but also if you look at the numbers and you see the cases in and around this area it's one of the highest in the counties right next to uh nashville um and that's because i'm not really seeing a whole lot of social distancing being observed like we're supposed to you know uh personally i mean i i guess i'm an essential employee i've been working all week so uh other than that it's just basically go to work come home try to stay clean wash my hands all the time every time i get a chance to but anyway guys so we're going to take you down here we're going to show you exactly what it looks like downtown let you see it uh guys normally like it you would notice it's normally a uh, urban explore or it's a ghost hunt something along those terms so anyway a little different but just to kind of give you a clue i'll show you what memphis and what my town's like so let's go check it out okay guys stay tuned all right so we are down at riverside park in downtown memphis and you can see there's a few people out there there's a lot more people out down here downtown than there are out like in the suburbs where we just came from oh my gosh so check this uh check this park out this is crazy so there's a park folks this isn't social distancing this is uh this is full and this is why shelby county cases are running rampant um it's actually kind of disheartening to be perfectly honest with you i'm just curious what's going to happen as these cases get more as it keeps building more and more i guess they'll get a little bit more stricter on the uh on the rules of uh safer at home I won't get out in uh, I won't get out and film down here because you know I'm gonna do my part but we'll film it from afar just driving through downtown and it actually looks like a ghost town up here actually there's there's none of the business are up and going really nobody out and about see a couple of people out walking exercising but this is usually packed through here at any given time there's the Orpheum Theater that's a haunted place very haunted place one of the most haunted places in Memphis and then you have the great bill street i'm gonna check out bill street and just see how busy it is i already know the answer to that one but we're gonna see so No music really going. Really nobody on Bill Street other than the uh, Memphis Police Department, which is kind of kind of crazy. There's always people on Bill Street. It don't matter if it's in the middle of the afternoon or late at night. There's always people out. The FedEx Forum. Of course, everything's been canceled there.
it's really surprising that this part is actually as dead as it is considering that how many people were downtown at the parks and stuff so what are your guys towns like are they completely shut down and locked down nobody really out or is it like this too is it pretty much anybody and everybody's out just carrying on like normal just kind of curious This is actually really surprising. I, usually cars are double parked all down here. There's always traffic right through here at any given time of the day. We're fixing to be down in like the, the judicial part, which is like our criminal justice center, the lawyer's offices, all that. There's AutoZone Park right there. Of course, everything's been postponed there. Postponed. But uh, now we're getting downtown into all the lawyers' offices and everything. That big building right there is actually the Steric building, which is one of the tallest. It is the, actually the tallest building in Memphis and has actually been abandoned since the 70s. They've closed it down back then. And that's it. There's a couple of videos up on YouTube that people actually were able to get in there and Urban Explored a few years back. But I think those videos are all from like five or six years ago. Nothing really current. I tried to get in there a while back and with no luck. I actually went to, uh, I actually went with the company that's overseeing the property trying to get in and they just would not let us in there due to insurance. So there's rumors out that they're going to try to rehab that building. But it's been abandoned so long, I really don't see that it's even going to be worth trying to save. So, yeah, this is insane. This place is usually, all this right through here is usually always packed. Completely packed out. And, I mean, there is, there's nothing. The churches are closed. These streets are just bare. There's nothing. I mean, nobody's down here. Criminal Justice Center. Just a, just a bare minimum. Parking lot, completely bare. So what do you think, guys? What's your towns look like? There's the, there's the jail. All right, guys, I'm going to ride around, check a couple more spots out and see how they look. And uh, we'll see. All right, stay tuned, guys. Bill Street. From the other end. just barren nothing absolutely nothing is open down here at all I don't think I've ever seen it this dead at all. Oh, we're supposed to drive down through here. <laughs> There's 
the Hard Rock Cafe. Bad. I'll be glad when we get through all this and all this gets to open back up. And because even though I am seeing a lot of people out and moving around, they're still, it's still not the same. But maybe it's giving people to take in chance of, you know, getting out and just enjoying themselves with, without going to all the stores or the businesses that may be open. And, you know, they're out doing things that, that people used to do a long time ago. So, anyway, guys, let's keep going. All right, guys. So, anyway, there you have it. That's what Memphis looks like right now. Um, I mean, it's, it is what it is. And actually, I just saw that. The uh, the president has actually stated that he wants wants to carry it on at least thirty days for everybody to do the safer at home plan. So we'll just see how that goes. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what what if your town's doing the same thing and how you guys are handling it and dealing with it. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to. Check out Memphis with me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like that content. It's kind of out of the norm for us. We're going to get back to exploring as soon as we can, so be sure to be sure to hold on for that. Um, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy.